What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work your lady. This story's called, Would You Like Some Cheese With Your Wine? Backstory, sorry if this part is a bit long. I am a federal government employee who had just finished a successful business trip. I fly home and had a layover in a large international airport. I had a long layover and had gotten a bite to eat and had gotten no notifications about my gate being moved from one end of the airport to the other. I and several other unlucky passengers had gone to the original gates and sat wondering where the plane was as it was time to board. Finally, we find an employee who tells us the gate was changed and it's now boarding and set to take off in eight minutes. We all take off sprinting for the correct gate. For the record, I am a 55 year old woman who does actually run 10k races, so I wasn't doing too badly at this. I get to the correct gate and tried to pull up my boarding pass on my phone. It wouldn't work! I made a few more attempts to pull it up, but it didn't work. The gate clerk asked me to wait and she would print one up. I was the last to board the plane, but I made the flight. It should be smooth sailing from here. Boy, was I wrong. There was a small commuter jet with two seats on one side and one on the other. My seat was towards the rear of the plane on the single seat side. I walked down the aisle and encountered a rather rotund, angry man. His leg was sticking out in the aisle, and I didn't see it as I had my carry-on bag in front of me. I bumped his leg. I'm so sorry. I didn't see your leg. You should be sorry. Watch where the F trip Lex, you're going from now on. I apologize again, but could you please move your leg so I can get to my seat? He scowls at me, but moves his leg. I place my bag under the seat and buckle my belt. After about 15 minutes, we still have not left the gate. The passengers are starting to wonder why. The pilot came on and tells us that there will be a delay as the plane still needs fuel and no fuel trucks were available at that time. It could be a 30 minute wait. What the flippity doo Is everyone here so gosh darn stupid that they can't fuel a plane? Sir, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but- I don't give a damn how sorry you are. This is outrageous. I just had a little gingelada in my butt. After 45 minutes, we finally get fuel. The plane should have departed an hour and a half ago. It's now almost 10 p.m. A few rows ahead of me was an apparently non-English speaking couple with their three-year-old grandson. Son. The boy was getting tired and frustrated. He started crying, but he was in a seat, so the plane left the gate. We had been away from the gate less than a minute, and he decided to throw a tantrum. He undid his belt and jumped over the grandma and into the aisle and starts to run down the aisle. The attendant sees the lad and notifies the cockpit. The plane stops on the tarmac. Grandma catches the kid and puts him back in his seat with the belt on, which he immediately undoes again and runs, screaming up and down the aisle. Grandpa catches him this time and returns to his seat and puts the belt back on him. He's still screaming and crying, but he's seated. We start moving again for about two more minutes when this kid's head pops up over the seat. The attendant calls the pilot again and the plane stops. The angry man is saying many things that I cannot put into this narrative. Grandma gets him again and goes back to the seat, but puts him on her lap. The attendant tries to explain that this is not allowed, but she doesn't understand. Neither does Grandpa. The attendant asks if anyone can communicate with this couple. A few try, but they don't seem to understand. The pilot decides to remove this family from the plane, so back to the gate we go. We wait about 25 minutes for a representative from the airline to come and remove this family. The representative comes to remove the family. All of a sudden, Grandpa gets up and yells, What do you mean we have to get off of this plane? I paid good money for this flight. Obviously, no problem with English. The family was removed and we finally got on our way. It's now 11.45. 15 minutes after the plane was originally slated to land, and it was a three hour flight. The attendant began the drink service for the flight after about 30 minutes. Once again, the angry man's leg was once again in the aisle. The poor frazzled attendant accidentally bumps his leg. What the frick is wrong with you? This whole gosh darn trip has been a total pile of horse crap. I want your freaking name and your manager's freaking name, etc. My name is blank, and you can call this number in the morning, but I still need to finish the drink service in the back. 
could you please move your leg so I can get by? Angry Man moves his leg, but keeps grumbling. He stands up in the aisle. I'm not finished talking to you yet. And he starts to move down the aisle. I jump into the aisle. I'm tired of this obnoxious fool. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Who the frick are you? The person sitting behind you. I just wanted to let you know that you missed a perfect opportunity back there. What do you mean? You should have asked the attendant for some cheese. Cheese? Why would I want that? You know, to go with the wine you've been having since you got on this plane. Everyone within earshot is now laughing hysterically. Angry man, his face turning red with anger. I want to know your name. I want to report you to the airline. In a voice just above a whisper. Sir, I work for the federal government. You really don't want to know my name, but I would love to know yours. I smile very nicely. The angry man's face loses all color and he scurries back to his seat and sits down quietly. He politely addressed the attendant as ma'am for the rest of the flight. After we landed and we were getting off of the plane, the attendant thanked me for what I did, but wanted to know what I said to him. I winked at her and told her to have a better day tomorrow. How much you want to bet that she works for the Department of Agriculture? <laughs> Okay, but no, on a real note, <laughs> that's a pretty good story. Uh, I couldn't imagine being on the on the plane with that kid, though. Ugh. This story's called, Lady doesn't like the fact I don't work at the store and hits me with a frozen popsicle. First off, I never thought I would post here, but here we are. So, to give some background. I live in a bit of a small town, so a lot of people know each other type of thing. When winter hits, we get snowbirds people who live near the east coast or where a lot of snow hits, and it's mostly elderly people, most of which are really nice. And we have this Target in my town, and I shop there often. I know where almost everything is in the store, and a lot of employees know me, even the manager. Anyways, on to the story. So, I'm driving to Target because I need to get my sister some soup because she was sick and I really wasn't prepared to go out for the day, so I just threw on a red shirt and some jeans. Big mistake. I get to Target to get some soup, start walking through the store to look at stuff, and me being a bit of a kid inside, decided to check out the toy section, mostly Transformers. Big mistake number two. As I'm looking through the toys, a lady, mid 40s, early 50s, approaches me and I can already tell this isn't gonna end well. She stands not even an inch away from me and asks right in my face, what are you doing in the toy section? Don't you have a job to be doing? In the most snarkiest tone I've ever heard from someone, even my mom. I, hating confrontation, say sheepishly, uh, I'm, I'm only looking for something for my stepbrother and I don't work. She cuts me off mid-sentence. Wow, you must be some sort of man baby looking through toys. Anyways, I need some help looking for something in the frozen foods aisle. Show me where it is now. At this point, I can feel my face getting red with embarrassment. So I point to where she can start walking to find the frozen foods. Uh, frozen foods are down that way. She huffs at me. Aren't you gonna take me there? I say in response. No, as I was trying to say a minute ago, I don't work here. This is when she really gets mad. Don't pull that BS with me. Show me where the frozen foods are or you're fired. I know the manager here and he will fire you on the spot. Me being 16 and having a short fuse, which I'm surprised didn't light sooner, came back with, oh, go ahead, get the manager. Also, if you still need your food, the frozen foods are down that way near the back. She huffs off and I continue shopping. Now, I'm looking through some video games and I hear her stomping her way over with the manager and I think, oh God, here she comes. She doesn't hesitate to start yelling at me. Your employee was very rude to telling me to F off and other racist things. I want him fired now. This is when the manager starts to look confused. Um, he doesn't work here, so I, I can't fire him. And to add on to that fact, he's one of the nicest customers to have in the store and has helped many shoppers with their requests. I can't kick him out without backlash. Again, the lady doesn't like what she hears. Well, he didn't help me. And who cares what people say? I came here for my needs. I want him kicked out now. Now it's my turn to speak. 
Lady, didn't you think it was odd when you didn't see me have a shirt that has a Target logo on it? And I was actually trying to help you find the frozen food section, and again, it's right in the very back, like I pointed to. If you didn't start yelling at me and listen to me, you would have realized that I don't work here. She finally realizes what I say and starts to run away. She must have realized that with the way that she yelled at me and me being underage, she must have thought I could sue her for verbal abuse, which I'm 99% sure I can't do, and assault. For the assault part, she shoved me to get close to my face. I'm 16, and I'm skinny, but I'm strong. I'm on the wrestling team for school, so I did show signs that I had muscle on me. The manager says not to worry about the lady anymore, and apologizes for the whole situation, to which I replied, It's okay, I just hope she doesn't harass anyone else. Me and the manager laughed a little about how scared she looked when she started running, and that's when I start to go to checkout. As I'm ringing up my stuff at the self-checkout, I see someone start to come up behind me because the self-checkout has one of those cameras that records if someone tries to steal something. And it's that lady again, and this time, she has something in her hands and tries to swing at me. I quickly dodge and roll away. She takes advantage of me rolling and throws something frozen at my back. It hits and it feels cold and hard. Turns out, she bought Otter Pops, pretty much a frozen icy in a plastic tube, only to throw them at me. By the time I get up, she's already gone out the store. I'm tempted to run after her, but the part of my back she hit was a spot where I had surgery done because I had a broken shoulder blade from wrestling. And that made it sting, so I felt running after her wouldn't help. Anyways, people see what happened and run over, and someone even paid for my stuff. I get up and people ask if I'm okay and if they need to call the police or to call an ambulance, and I say no, I'm gonna go home. I thank the lovely old man who paid for my stuff, and I go home. Sorry, this is long. I just needed to release my anger, and no better way than let people of Reddit read my anger. Thanks for reading. What? That seems like something you'd see on Drake and Josh or something. <laughs> what? This story's called, Lady Demands to Speak to My Manager in a Store I Don't Work In for Hiding the Donuts. Here's the cast. Crazy lady. Me? Manager. This happened to me yesterday. I live in Scotland and everyone is super nice. I thought I would never see the day when I would meet a Karen. She didn't have the haircut, <laughs> but she did have the chunky highlights. Anyways, on to the story. So, I was on my day off from work yesterday and I wanted some junk food, so I went to my local supermarket. I left my car and walked into the store. Enter crazy lady. She was right in the entrance, screaming at the security guard for blocking her entrance. I hoped I wouldn't have to deal with her BS, but boy was I wrong. I went to the bakery section and I took the last box of donuts. Thank God, they still had donuts. As I was going to the frozen food to get some ice cream, I was attacked by the Kraken itself. She said, Employees are not supposed to hide the food they like in the back for themselves. Note, I was wearing a black tracksuit. I have read this subreddit long enough to know what was about to happen, and I was pretty sure the back room or whatever was on the other side of the whatever was on the other side at the back of the store. I replied, Sorry ma'am, I don't work here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go. I started to walk away. She got mad. Crazy lady said in the most high-pitched voice I ever heard, Oh boy. I want to speak to your manager! I continued walking, completely ignoring her. She continued to shriek things like, Manager! And Thief! I got my ice cream and was walking to the tills. Check out for you Americans. Then she came from an aisle out of nowhere with the manager and she said, That's him! He was stealing! With a huge grin on her face. I made a Pikachu face. Manager said, Ma'am, he doesn't work here and empty your pockets please. So that's what I did. I put my things on the shelf and emptied my pockets. All I had was my wallet and car keys. Note, I drive a Mercedes, a 2017 C63S to be precise. Her eyes are stuck on the car keys. She said, There, those are my car keys. It's my Mercedes. Yes, she actually said it like that. And he punched and even took my donuts because he was jealous that I got the last pack. 
Fire him immediately! Now, even the manager knows she is talking trash. Manager said, Ma'am, he does not work here. As for your claims, let me check the security footage, and if this is true, I will call the police. Now, she made the Pikachu face. The manager went. The whole time the manager was away, she had a huge grin on her face and she had her arms crossed. Manager came back and said, Miss, come with me. She was just silent and walked away with the manager. I don't know where they went, and I never saw her again. The lady was arrested, I guess, and I got the donuts for free. You know, th they always say that these Karens, they screech and stuff in the stories, but I have only ever seen one woman actually screech like that, and <laughs> it was when I was uh, working at the hotel. Yeah, that story was actually really, really insane. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.